Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a bit of an update, a bit of a test ride. Uh, I'll go down to a local park and do the proper video uh, in a mo. but I thought let's give you some test footage of uh, riding this about. So this is what the bike looks like now. Uh, I've got the wheels done, suspension done. Um, so yeah. Um, now the other theme about this video is going to be the Sabaton because I'm having some issues with it. Um, it's working all right at the moment, but I'll, I'll get I'll explain once we get to the park. But anyway, enjoy some uh, footage of riding around. Don't worry, the brakes are good too. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you what I mean about the brakes. Let's do a little test here. <coughs> if that doesn't look fast on camera, it is. <laughs> right, let's go and do some talking. Right, so here we are at the local park. Someone's to start mowing the lawn, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So, the latest with the bike is basically an issue with the Sabaton, which you probably can't see, but it's down under here. So, the issue is basically, it's not outputting the power it should be. So, I sent to 150 amp DC, uh, what's it, 300 amp phase, I think, and sometimes it only puts out 60 amps. Sometimes it puts out 130 amps. It's either one or the other. And Sometimes changing the DC current has an effect, like if I put it down to 60, it will be really slow, and then if I put it up to 150, it will then put out 130 amps. Um, changing the phase current seems to have an effect, makes the acceleration more nippy, but it's nothing kind of bonkers, you know, it's not lifting the front wheel, it's not losing traction, um, and yeah, if any of you guys got sabotons, it'd be great to hear kind of what your experience are with uh, the power and everything. But I've heard of people, you know, lifting the wheel at kind of, what, five six kilowatts and here i am at seven when this thing should be doing eight and a half um and yeah it's ugh, it's it's just not really not really cutting it to be honest um so i've been in contact with a company who sold it to me which is like s s i a ecosis psychosis i've tried to butcher the name before but um so yeah so they got in contact with their engineer um, and they sent me some sample screenshots we're in kind of communication about what what the issue is really um, i suspect it's an issue with the controller um, i'm sure they'll try and wriggle out of it by saying you've got the wrong version of software because they've tried to send me about three different versions of the software but respect to them you know they're trying they're trying to be helpful um, so i'll see how that one goes but yeah it's weird because i hadn't i had it where i changed the temperature limit from like 70 or 80 up to 200 and that temporarily had an effect you know i don't know why it was barely getting hot in 30 so why putting up to 200 would have an effect um changing the throttle that didn't really have much of an effect and as i say changing the dc current it was set to 150 but it was only putting out 60 amp so yeah i've got got a bit of a case really um the problem is i don't have like a second sabaton to test because those of you who've been watching the channel before will know that I had a Sabaton before, which I damaged, that was completely my fault. I had a dodgy wire going to the motor and it freaked it out and burnt out. That was my problem, um, which is annoying because it was all working really well. Um, I'd never gone above, I think it was about four and a half kilowatts and that felt nippy. So this thing on seven kilowatts or eight as it should be, should be like ridiculous, but it's not. Um, I mean, it's not my top priority, you know, I will have to limit this down to four kilowatts anyway to put it through the MSVA. On which note, we're getting closer to doing it. I've got to do the headlights, the indicators, and wire up the tail light, do 
do the kickstand, which I'm working on. Um, so yeah, it's coming together. I've also managed to fit a rear back brake. Um, so yeah, hopefully, I don't know, plans to finish it this summer and then autumn, perhaps late summer, start going through the whole registration. So I've got to get a VIN number um, and then fill out some forms about the details of the bike. Um, but yeah, it's, it's probably going to be complicated, but hey, uh, it's the only way to do it in the UK. Um, um, so yeah, I got this one once the old one had burnt out. Um, this is, I think this is like a new version because the LED on the front, it's got one LED rather than two, like a combined red and green to show you the status and all that. Um, but apart from that, everything else should be the same. So I don't think it's a matter of the controller being like different version and not compatible. I've tried literally like five different versions of software, including the app. So I, at first I thought it was like a software bug, because as I said, some of the settings were having like weird effects or no effects. Um, but yeah, I've tried pretty much every version out there and it's still, still not working. So yeah, that, that's a little rant about the controller. But as I say, it's not kind of holding me back. The bike still moves and everything. Um, so yeah, got the rear brakes sorted. Just trying to work on the controller really. Yeah, and that's the other thing is that when I had the old controller, I did some 0-20 tests. So 0-20 miles an hour acceleration on, on the road. And I got down to, I think it was about 2.99 seconds for a 0-20, which isn't great. <laughs> um, and then I did a 0-20 on this bike at supposedly seven kilowatts, because um, that's what the BMS reads. The BMS, which I've got here, which is the smart one, uh, can obviously read current. Um, and if you screen record the app, you can see how much current you draw as you go along. Um, that's showing, that's how I'm getting my current reading for, what's it, 130 amps and seven kilowatts. So I did a 0 to 20 at supposedly seven kilowatts and I got like, was it 3.2, 3.4 seconds? Again, I've put it on the screen, which makes no sense whatsoever how it's slower on seven kilowatts than the old controller was on five kilowatts. That's one of my kind of main ammunition for saying, well, there's clearly not something right because I've got evidence to show that it's slower um, rather than just saying, oh, it feels slow, which they'll be like, well, what can we do? So yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. If anyone else has had issues out there, then yeah, please put it in the comments below. Um, as I say, it's not kind of number one on my priority list. Ideally, the ideal solution would be they say, okay, there's probably a problem. Uh, we'll send you another one or you send us the old one and we'll send you a new one, something like that. Obviously, worst case is that they managed to find some way of wriggling out of it and blaming it on me and saying, oh, you broke it, which I haven't because I've literally just in the past few weeks or month or so, put it on the bike and it's just not been working. So yeah, it is a bit of a weird one, but as I say, it's not gonna halt the process of these videos. Um, I don't know what order I'm gonna do these in. You might not have seen it, you might have seen it. Um, I'm doing a video on the kickstand at the moment um, and the suspension, which you can't see, but yeah, some rear suspension. So yeah, so it's all happening, keeping me busy, certainly. Um, so yeah, just give you a little walk around the bike. Right, so here she is in all her glory. So obviously, got the tyres which are starting to get worn in a little bit. They get a little bit warm when you're riding, which is cool. Um, obviously, suspension. I've uh, fitted some like more attachment hardware, which you'll see in the suspension video. And then brakes, uh, which you haven't seen before. Got these four port calipers, um, rotor. I uh, didn't end up changing the rotor actually because the one they sent me was bent. Um, so I managed to get a refund. So this one's working really well actually in the moment. So I think I'll just stick with this to be honest. Um, as I say, these fins really help dissipate the heat. Um, I mean, they get really hot when you touch it, but as I say, helps keep it all cool. Um, this is the little connector I put on just for charging it. Just connects to the positive and negative on the Sabaton. Uh, quite a little janky charging setup at home. Uh, it takes what kind of eight hours to do a full charge or something ridiculous. So yeah. Definitely need to sort that out for the future. Uh, I'm not going to take the side panels off because you can see the other videos. Nothing's changed in there. Um, dashboard, haven't managed to get that wide up yet. Uh, still got the connector down here somewhere. Um, but that'll come when I do all the lighting and stuff. Um, new throttle. Um, I bought another one because I thought it was the throttle that was the issue with the Sabaton. Turned out not to be. So now I've just got a nice red throttle which matches the red cap on here. Uh, it's got the switch on it as well. It's got a voltage indicator. I don't actually like these. They just look a bit naff, really. So I'll use the one on here. Um, you've got your buttons and everything. 
Uh, that's the front brake and the rear brake, obviously. Um, then this is obviously the motor, uh, needs a bit of a clean. It gets a little bit warm uh, when pushing these kind of powers. Um, I was taking it out on a sunny day and it got really hot, but I think that was mostly the sun on the black, not the actual riding. Um, brake rotor. So, yeah, that's, that's the bike.